Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Engineering Hooksets. Welcome to another video. Today I'm here with River Fishing USA, AKA Ben. Hopefully we are gonna try to catch some nice saw guy today, maybe wipers, whatever. We're just gonna catch anything that bites. By now you guys should have seen two videos I already posted here where I caught two really good saw guys. So yeah, hoping we can get in on some of that same action today. Stick around, it's gonna be a good time. Hopefully we can get that giant bowfin or flathead today. That would be pretty sick. Are you straight out? No, you can cast. Oh, did I just get a hit or was, that might've been a rock. I just bumped a fish. I don't think it bit though, but I just felt it move. Got one. Wait, do I? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a really big fish. Well, that's pulling drag. What is that? Oh my gosh, guys, that's a big fish. It's a sauger. Oh, I snagged it. No, it doesn't count. All right, if I can bow flip it. Dang it. This, oh my gosh, guys, this sucks. This sucks because now this is one less fish that we can like actually catch. Yeah. This is a, this is a little smaller though. This, uh, this is not quite the cookie cutter 20 incher. He's got a messed up lip. He's been caught before it looks like. Well, that kind of sucks guys. This actually, the white tip on this one's tail is pretty small. So that might be a sauger, but yeah, that's a snag. It's really unfortunate. I was just telling him before this that I felt one, I felt myself hit one, but it, I knew it didn't bite because it came off right away. But I guess this might be the same fish because I just cast it there again. So yeah, that's a nice fish though. It's really unfortunate that it didn't actually bite. At least I can make a TikTok release off this. All right, there he goes. Doesn't count as fish number one though, but they are absolutely here. That one was a little bit smaller. That was like a 16 and a half, 17 incher. Yeah. I just felt another fish. Got one. Good fish. I think that felt like a bite. I can feel head shakes. I think that's legit. That's a big fish, guys. That's another 20 incher probably. I don't know. Yep, in the mouth. That's a bigger one too. Let's go. Oh. Right in the mouth. Let's go. Look at that, y'all. Bigger than the last one. Guys, I'll bet you this is another one of those cookie cutter like 20 and a half inches. Ooh, that might be 21, dude. That's a big fish. Look at that fish, guys. Look at that thing. All right, Ben's got a scale here, so we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get a weight. Should be about a three and a half pounder. That's what it feels like. Yeah, scale says 3.39. So not a PB, but very close. All right, guys. I'm gonna let this awesome fish go. Almost a three and a half pounder. Super nice. This is why I love this spot, guys. All right, putting him back. There she goes. Number one in the books. This is what she bit y'all. KVD 1.0. This is chartreuse, but I mean, most colors would probably work here. The water's not that bad today. It's a little better than it was last time. I think last time the visibility was probably a foot. Today it's like a foot and a half. Not terrible. Water level's up though from last time. We had rain the past couple days. We're actually, we're gonna get a lot of rain this week too. So this spot's gonna get ruined in the next few days, but we're taking advantage of it while we can right now. I just had one. I just had one on. That was a bite. Yeah, that thing smacked it. I need to do a better job of editing. I have literally like 15 videos I need to post. I still have like four trout videos from Colorado. I have Clinton videos from last December. I have so much I need to post. I want to upload one of your unpublished videos to my channel to see who notices. You ain't stealing my ad revenue. <laughs> All right, guys, right now I am trying a new spot. So there is the spillway where I caught the fish. Follow the river down. There's kind of a calm little spot here. I have not been here before, but I wanted to give it a try. It looks really juicy on the walk in. It's like a slack water spot where you've got current running through one side, but then it's like a big open area. So should be holding fish. So you got the current running on that side and you got kind of a slack water in the middle here. We're gonna give this a try. I'm gonna go out on this point. Holy leaves. Yeah. 
Do I have one? I got a fish, guys. Look at that, guys. Went downstream a little bit to a new spot. Or it's the same spot, but it's, you know, new because so far all I fished is right under the spillway. Got that guy right there. Nice largemouth. It's a decent one. Probably over a pound. Nice fish. Right in the middle of the current there, he bet. All right, let's put him back. Man, that water is cold, y'all. Let's try to catch one more of those. All right, guys, I think I've had enough of this spot. I'm gonna go back over to the main little spillway area. That water's just so small right there, I'm sure I've covered it all by now. Actually, let me try right here first. This looks kind of good. I'll throw a couple casts here. I'm actually shocked I haven't lost any lures yet. Especially down there. I have no idea how this is still on. Got one. That's a good fish. That's a really good fish. I'm gonna try to get it on my camera. Yo, that's pulling drag. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh. I think it's another, it's a big walleye. Holy cow, that's a PB. That's a PB. Oh my gosh, holy crap, holy. Dude, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Dude, that's like a seven pounder. No, it's probably six. All right guys, I'm gonna run this around to the other side because Ben's got the, uh, cause Ben's got the scale and all that. I'm gonna run over there. Oh my gosh. I gotta run over there cause he's got the scale. This is such a jank setup. That thing's like a six pounder. Oh my gosh. I gotta hurry because like I'm gonna release it. What? I just caught a freaking PB, y'all. Okay, guys, this is insane. This is my PB by a big margin. Okay. Set my rods down. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Look at that freaking thing. That guys, I think. Okay, I'm gonna take six back. No, this could be six actually. I don't know. I think five and a half is a safe bet. Thank you, sir. I think five and a half is a safe bet. It is a six. Six, four, one. Six, four, one. What? I just caught a six pound bass this week. Oh my goodness gracious. Six, four, one. Yeah, absolutely insane fish, guys. Look at that thing. Six and a half pounds or 6.41. absolute beast whenever she's ready she's probably gonna freak out and kick off here in a second the water's super cold so should be fine typically when the water's cold they're really oxygenated i think her fins are moving a little bit come on baby please don't be dead oh okay oh my. <laughs> all right we're good we're good she's fine I probably did have that fish out of the water a little bit too long. The thing was there is he had the scale and everything over here and I was all the way over on that bank. So I had to run around to like get the scale and stuff. But because of that, it was out of the water just a little bit long. So my bad, but the fish is fine. It did swim off. When the water's this cold, the water's like 42 degrees right now, ish, give or take. They get super oxygenated. The time when it's bad to have them out of the water longer, like really bad is the summer. But I mean, it's still March, that fish is fine. That was freaking insane. 24 inches, 6.41, holy cow. I'm freaking ecstatic right now. Just grind it out, you'll, you'll probably catch one. What? What happened? The bill broke off. Okay guys, this is really awkward. So there's tons of weeds at this spot and what I've been doing, like I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, is I've been smacking the water to get the weeds off and the bill just broke. Also, this is a brand new crankbait. I literally bought this like three hours ago. That is really unfortunate. I have more of these though. I just don't have any in this color. So hopefully the color was not the deal breaker. I think I'll put the sexy shad one on right now.
All right, y'all, well, I am done for the day. That was crazy. I only caught three fish. The, uh, the, the one that I snagged at the beginning, that doesn't count because it was snagged, but nice bass, nice saw guy, and an insane freaking massive saw guy. That thing was crazy. My PB saw guy before this was like three and a half pounds. This is wild, y'all, because, I mean, you're not going to see it within a week because I take a while to edit, but this is the same week that I, or this is like exactly one week after I caught my PB largemouth, that 6.8. So that's crazy. I caught two six-pound PBs, like, basically in the same week. I'm going to be back here a ton to make more videos. This place is awesome. I feel super fortunate to have caught that fish. Really appreciate you guys watching and sticking around with me. And, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next one.